Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to the stately Vaughn Manor. It's a different room in the Vaughn Manor because my library is in use. There are people in there doing very important research, but have to put a video out, can't miss a video. So I'm using this, this room, which has kind of an echo. Oh, well, that's okay. What we're doing today, well, it's my 100 favorite book project. Another video in my 100 favorite book project. I made a list of my 100 favorite books. I made a video about it. I'll link it down below. And what I do in these videos is I'll take a book from that list and I'll try to find the best edition I can of that book. In this case, I already had the edition that I wanted. These are the best editions for me. They're not necessarily the most fancy pants, although they tend to be pretty fancy pants, posh editions. They tend to be. Not always, but they tend to be. Today we're talking about Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. And I already had this edition. This is from the Heritage Press. And it's actually the first volume of the Heritage Press that I found. This introduced me to the Heritage Press. And it's a beautiful volume of The Martian Chronicles. And I've talked about this before. I did a video when I first started my channel about Ray Bradbury and Ray Bradbury short stories. But that was so long ago, probably nobody remembers. So here it is again, the Heritage Press edition of The Martian Chronicles. I love this book. It's such a beautifully done science fiction fantasy. It is what is known as a fix-up novel, of which there used to be quite a few back in the days when a lot of fiction was initially published in magazines. Uh, when it came time to put out some books, a lot of authors would just take a lot of the short stories or the shorter fiction that they wrote for the magazines, and they would make books out of them, make novels out of them. Uh, and sometimes that worked and sometimes it didn't. But it did, you know, it did happen quite a bit. Uh, Dashiell Hammett's uh, The Dane Curse, for example, was one of those. Uh, City by Clifford D. Samak, of course, was a very, very good version of that. And this, probably the most famous of all, The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, it still is basically a collection of short stories, but it's a collection of short stories that all are about a certain theme, a certain subject, and put into chronicle form, which is basically, this is basically about human beings' colonization of the planet Mars, which had inhabitants it was inhabited, of course it was. And this was first published in book form in 1950. But a lot of the stories that are in here were published initially a lot earlier than that. And he put them all together into this one chronicle, one Martian chronicle, uh, all about our colonization of the planet Mars. But there's a lot of stuff going on in this book. And a lot of that stuff happens off scene and you get the results of those things like nuclear war for example, uh, how, human, how humanity kind of destroys itself and destroys the Martians as well. And the results of that, there are a lot of heavy themes in this. Nuclear war, racism, uh, colonization, uh, all kinds of stuff that he's writing about in this book in these different stories. And it's all handled so beautifully. It's just so beautifully written and artistically done. He did edit the stories a bit and change them up a little bit as he put them into this book so that they all flowed as a continuous chronicle. And it, like I said, it really, really works. It, it is a wonderful book. And I really like this edition by the Heritage Press. Like I said, this, and this introduced me to the Heritage Press which was a press that lasted into the 1980s, I think probably around 1982. It was sold off and it was eventually bought by the Easton Press, who does all of those fancy leather bound volumes that are so nice, of which I have quite a few. But a lot of those, their classic volumes, for example, in the Eastern Press, just basically reprint the volumes that were printed here in the Eastern, excuse me, in the Heritage Press. And a lot of these reprint books that were initially published in the limited edition club, which printed books in limited edition, but these gave them uh, 
a, a wider audience. But these are actually really nicely done books and they tend to hold up fairly well. You will find these, a lot of these heritage editions floating around out there. Uh, and very often they're not that expensive. Some of them are, but very often they're not that expensive. This one, I think, what did it cost me? 20 bucks or something? It was, it was ridiculously cheap for such a beautiful book. And it is very beautifully done. I think this one was printed around 1974. It says 74, but you never really know. So it has its, its little note here, the sand glass. The Heritage Club always put out these little notes about the book. We'll give you some background information on the volume and the artist and the writer. And this one is illustrated. Uh, the artist for this is Joseph Mugnani. Mugnani? I can never pronounce that name. I can't pronounce anything. But he does a wonderful job, and Ray Bradbury thought a lot of this artist, and I can see why. He's an interesting artist. Uh, he did some really, really cool illustrations for this volume. Now, I don't know if this is the edition that is reprinted by the Easton Press. I think the Easton Press did an edition of the Martian Chronicles, although I have not seen it. So I don't know if it is this edition. I would assume so but I don't know for sure. If anyone knows, let me know. But it has some really interesting illustrations in this volume. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, some good stuff in this volume. And it makes it, this is a fun read. It, it's, the last time I read this book, it was in this edition and it was a great experience. Great reading experience, just because it's so beautifully put together. These are all in chronicle form. Here we got January 1999, it starts. You remember back in January, back of 1999, when we all started going to Mars? Oh, those were the days. This does end up in the future though. 2026, I think is the last, it ends in 26. So, you know, a few years away, but not many. Pretty soon, these chronicles will all be done and we will have lived through the whole thing. Hopefully without the nuclear de devastation, but you know, the way things are going, who knows. But this is a fabulous book, beautifully done. I'm really happy to have this edition and that I found this. I found this, I think I, th I found this in Pegasus Books. I'm almost certain uh, in Pegasus Books in Berkeley. And since then I've picked up quite a few of these Heritage Press editions, uh, a few of them for this project, my 100 favorite books project because they're just so cool. They're just beautifully done, cool editions, and they'll last if you take care of them. So there you go, Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. Of course, if you haven't read this, you should read this. It's a wonderful fantasy. It's more fantasy than science fiction. A lot of Ray Bradbury's stuff was. He wasn't too interested in the science, I believe. He was more interested in telling a fantastic story and the use of science fiction trappings help that along. And this is just gorgeous, this story. So there you go, I'll shut up now. I will catch you next time.